Here are my three reasons why choosing the Canon EOS R5 is really a smart decision. You know, yesterday I put out a video, you know, the links here, and I had my doubt about the overheating after watching Peter McKinnon video, you know, highlighting that, you know, when you're shooting 4K, 120 frames per second, the camera will give you warning about the overheating. So you have to shut the camera to let it cool down. And then, you know, that cropped in my head. So today I watched this video from Jared and try to tackle the question of the overheating, fact or no fact. Now here we are a few days after the EOS R5's announcement, and all people can talk about is how bad this camera is going to be in regards to overheating when shooting video. I think some people are forgetting that this camera, at least based on its specs, has the potential to be an amazing stills camera. Now with that being said, I'm not looking to defend Canon if there turns out to be an issue with overheating as they're the ones who chose to promote this camera as an 8K raw shooting internal recording beast of a video camera over pushing it as a stills camera that so happens to offer you some pretty amazing cinematic features and specs. Now that that's out of the way, let me be clear about something. There's way too much speculation going around about an issue that doesn't actually exist yet. And also this comment from Mr. Hedge in my video. Got me thinking. And now I have three reasons why choosing the Canon EOS R5 is the smart decision that you can make when buying a camera, if you can afford it. Introducing the first Canon 5 series mirrorless camera. So the reason number one, Canon Dual Pixar CMOS Autofocus 2 is been here for some time. It is reliable, it is fast. Coming from somebody who's been using Lumix S series mirrorless camera for at least two years now, is that autofocus, I rely on autofocus. I am the one person shooting, there's nobody behind it. So I rely on the autofocus to be accurate. Sometimes I film, and then when I come to process and edit it, it's out of focus, it's so painful. You spend so much time trying to capture things and you come and there's nothing, the moment is gone. Therefore, having an autofocus which is reliable, which you can trust, which you know that will get you right and also fast, is no brainer. And also, I think the processor, the image processor, the Digit X image processor of the Canon is one of the best. And on top of that, this EOS R5 is a fast still shooter. You have 12 frames per second mechanical shutter, shutter, or you have 20 frames per second electronic shutter is really fast for this type of price, for this type of camera for people, for anybody pro or no pro. Because if you're shooting a sport, you won't miss the opportunity. If you're running after kid, ha, you won't miss the picture. If you're shooting fast moving car, you won't miss that. So for this reason, the autofocus, the image processor, and on top of that, the sensor, 45 megapixel. Come on. So all those put together, 
That is reason number one. Choosing the EOS R5 is a smart decision. Yep. Reason number two. The reason number two is related to lenses. RF lenses. There are so many of them out now that you can choose. The only obstacle is your pocket. If you can afford all those lenses, you can get any zoom, prime, whatever, wide, big zoom. You got even like 600 and 800, you know, millimeter zoom. I mean, a prime lens, and you have like 100 to 500 or 100, 100 to 600, even zoom lens, right? And this one, this one is 24 to 70, 2.8, also zoom lens. And then you got all the 50, you got 35, you got, I don't know, yes. You won't miss in terms of cost. I'm saying that. When I got my Panasonic S, when it came up, we got, I think, two or three options of lenses. I remember that at that moment, either you got the, the kid lens 24 to 105 f4, or you got the prime lens 50 1.4. I don't remember if there is any in in middle. I don't think that there is any, but maybe there is. You know, after shooting this video, if there is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention it. But we were limited in terms of the lenses. It was so painful waiting. You know, always googling when the next lens gonna, when Panasonic gonna remove, gonna put off the next lenses. You know, Sigma. Oh, it was so painful. So the EOS R5 or the R series you got that line of lenses that you can choose from. So you won't miss out on a great glasses. And those are lenses, they are really great. Honestly, they are very great. They are sharp, they are fast. Trust me. So reason number three is the 8K. Yes. Yeah, hold on. Yes. Overheating. Yes, I understand about the, about the overheating. But the thing, is that people not talking about so much about it is that you know the down sampling from the 8k to 4k 30 frames per second i mean that is a big resolution like that you shrink it down to 4k the image gonna be just wonderful if you have seen peter mckinnon video i'm just gonna show a little bit the image are so nice Yes, Peter McKinnon is a great filmmaker and you know he knows he knows his thing. But still the image is so appealing. So the 8K, you got that down sample to 4K. I think you know other people try, but you know, maximum they do like 5K that down sample to 4K, Panasonic, you know, does that. But it's only Canon that have the 8K. And last that's a bonus reason here. This EOS R5 actually is a great still camera. Canon is supposed to also advertise or promote how the EOS R5 could be one of the best still camera, but they, they just try to focus on the 8K. You know, they just won't, went hard on the 8K, 8K, 8K. But you are about to get one of the best still camera 45 megapixel you know 20 frames per second make uh, electronic shutter and 12 frames per second that is almost equal to 1d 1dx mark 2 or oh, mark 3 sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. mark 3 now <laughs> so you that is no brainer is no brainer you got this great still camera that can also get recorded great video what he had to lose for. So that's my three 
main reason why choosing the EOS R5 is really smart decision. So I put my order in, I'm going to keep the order in, I'm going to get the camera and really test it, test it and see the overheating issue and find a way around the overheating so I can get those kind of great video for you guys. So what do you think? What would be your reason? Do you agree with my reason or do you disagree? Please, if you disagree, please also let me know in the comment box below. But if you have other reason that you want to add in it, please also leave that in the comment box below. Let us know what you think. Are you ordering the EOS R5 or EOS R6? Or are you waiting to see a few reviews before ordering? Also let us know in the comment box below. So, I am so pleased. You know, I put my pre-order. I can't wait for the camera to be shipped to me. And then, you know, I'm just going to put it to test. Thank you very much. Akuna Matata. Always stay safe. Stay protected. From me to you, only love. See you in my next video. Bye for now.